Hey, it's Megan from Good Team. Today we're going to talk about using buyer persona style questions on our forms to automatically assign personas. So basically what we want to do is know when they're coming in at the first touch, what do they need help with? Why are they seeking out our company? Um, so for us as a marketing agency, we are wondering, do they have no leads? They have trouble getting leads in at all? Or do they have so many leads that they don't know what to do with them? Because um, those are predominantly the clients that we work with. So we, we have our contact form and it's just email, first name, last name. And we want to create a drop down option on here to kind of determine what their big challenge is. So let's say sales property and let's say big challenge. Um, and we'll do the options will be either no leads or too many leads. I don't know what to do with them. Um, so those will be kind of their options when they're filling out the form. And let's create that. Okay, so now we have that big challenge property. I'm going to go ahead and mark it as required so that we know coming in kind of what they need from us. So let's update that. And now we might want to make a workflow based on their response. So we might want to assign them a certain salesperson that would work best with them based on their challenge and or set up a series of emails that would speak right to that challenge because those are two very different um, issues that they could be facing. So let's go back to our HubSpot screen um, and automation and then workflows. And then we'll set up a workflow based on that trigger. So we'll create one, start with a blank. And then our trigger will be that sales property. So when someone's assigned that sales property, which is their contact property, Big challenge is any of, let's start with the no leads. So we'll do a separate workflow for no leads and too many leads. Um, so let's apply that filter, save. And then we should name this new contact, no leads. Um, so maybe we want to assign their contact owner to be a certain person that works with these kind of clients. Um, so let's set a property value, contact owner, and let's say Francis works is the salesperson that works best with these leads. Let's go ahead and assign it, and that's just obviously an option. Um, and then you might have a series of emails that are perfect for this client. So um, you can send an email. Um, and we don't have email set up for this, but you would select the email. You might do, let's just set up this test one. And then maybe three days later, you want to delay for a certain amount of time. So three days later, you might want to send a follow-up and say, hey, are you still working through these issues or anything that might work well for your sales process. So you can do that. You can also send a notification to Francis that, hey, this is the lead that came in and this is their issue. Let's see about sending internal notification. Notification to Francis, and you might want to say new contact, no leads, and just say in the body of the email whatever Francis may need to know about this incoming lead. Um, so those are just a few of the options of how you can automate based on specific parts of the contact. So we are excited to try this out and see how it works for us. Um, let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Um, yeah, great. Have a great day.